Hi, I'm Lindsay, and today you're going to be learning how to dribble and pivot on roller skates. This video is part of my Learn to Roller Skate in 30 Days program. So if you haven't started that yet, make sure to go back and start from video one. But this video is also perfectly fine on its own to learn how to dribble. Just make sure that you are going back and doing all the videos because it all builds on itself so you can learn how to skate the fastest and most effective way possible. Okay, so here we go. This is the dribble with the pivot. So I'm dribbling right here and there's the pivot. And so this is what you're going to learn in this video. But first, we're going to start with a quick warm up because that is essential to building your skills. Before we get started today, so I have on knee pads. And I used to wear knee pads, elbow pads, and a helmet because I was like just learning how to skate. And but now I like am confident that I'm not gonna die when I fall, so I'm not going to. But I I always forget to say in my videos like if you're a beginner, like your first year, like wear all the things because it gives you confidence and it will allow you to like try things without like worrying about dying. But my for my whole first year I did, so just remember just be safe. Let's go ahead and start with our warm-up exercises. So we are gonna be starting off with, with bubbles. We're just only gonna do like two passes of each of these because it is just a warm-up and refresher. Bubbles forward, bubbles backwards, bubbles forwards, and one more, bubbles backwards. Next in our warm-up is skating backwards. So we're gonna start out feet pointing, feet pointing, toes pointing in, heels pointing out, pushing backwards, pushing out, diagonal. Feet turned in, and we're pushing diagonally. And you can kind of like go in a circle here if you want to. Go the opposite way. So let's practice that for about one minute. Okay, next move, now that you've practiced that for one minute, is manuals. So you're gonna be amp onto one heel if you need to do the warm up for manuals. One flat foot, heel up. <laughs> Doggo. <laughs> and other side, two. To the other side. And once you've done that, let's go try and pop up. It takes some practice, but we practiced this in the last video too, so you should be starting to get it now, hopefully, both sides. This is my not as good side, but it's still okay. So just squeeze those quads. Woo, okay, cool. Remember I used to think that was literally impossible to do, and now it's like easy peasy. So just remember, it will totally get easier. And lastly, double toe manual. So this is actually gonna help with pivots today because we are gonna be doing pivots. Oop, sticks. Okay, so double toe. I throw one stick and then there's still another stick there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so you're hopping up onto your toes while rolling. It's actually easier while rolling, so let's practice it rolling first. So you're rolling onto those toes. Squeeze those calves. Make sure you do both sides. Ooh, okay. Let's practice that for one minute. Well, you get that down, learning how to dribble and then add, adding the pivot in a second. So first thing is you have to be able to do this. Super simple, super easy. Let's see the other angle. This, front and back, knees bent, keeping all feet butt on the floor, all four wheels of both. So you're starting out like this and your weight is centered for this. Once you can do that, you're gonna start by here and you're gonna lift that back foot up. And so this is a little bit harder if you have a toe stop because you have to get the right like angle so your toe stop doesn't hit, but that your foot still can like move forward. So you're gonna start by going like this. So same thing, except the back foot is up on the toe. And then let's switch and do the other side too. So here, same thing. Now here we go. So you're gonna start off, you're gonna do that one time. So here, slide through, and then you're gonna put the foot down. And then let's go ahead and open it up, heel up on the back, slide through, put the heel down. So let's go ahead and do that a few times. Switch, here, switch. So as soon as you make it to the front, you are switching. So back foot up, slide, and down. 
here, down. Okay, cool. Now that you've got that, that down, let's actually do the whole thing. So here, slide through, and then you're switching. So the other foot is back and you're lifting up the heel and you're sliding through again. Okay, let's do that a little bit slower. So here, and you're lifting up the back foot, sliding through, putting it down. Lifting up the back foot, sliding through, putting it down. Here, slide through. Here, slide through. And now we're gonna work on just making it smoother. So keeping those knees bent and practicing until you feel confident and smooth and you can throw in like a little shoulder roll or hips. So here's what it looks like from the front actually, I forgot to show you. So here, oh wow, I'm sloping downhill. So here. So I like to add a little hip, a little shoulder, like rolling back <laughs> to make it look a little bit like smoother. So once you've got that down, we're gonna work on pivoting. So let's pop up onto our toes and a pivot is just like that. So you're here, feet flat, lift up onto those toes and swivel. So you're leading with your hips. So we're swiveling. So here, up and turn. So we're gonna dribble. So here, dribble, dribble, dribble. One foot's in the front and you're gonna pivot. And then you go back into it here dribble 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 one foot comes to the front and you pivot bring that other foot back and the way to make this look cool is to make it flowy and to like after you pivot go right into the next one so dribble 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 pivot dribble dribble pivot dribble so slow motion Dribble, 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 pivot. Dribble, dribble, pivot. Dribble, dribble. Now that you've got that down, it's time to really accentuate the, like, the up part of the foot, because it makes it like look even way cooler. So here, lift it up, lift it up. So you really have to bend those legs. So bend those knees, lift the knee up, and that lifts up the heel because the heel is the objective. Lift up. And then you add the pivot. Keep going. Up close. Now we're just gonna spend like a long time practicing. So just keep practicing those feet over and over. Practice it slower and then speed up as you keep going and then eventually you will have it down smooth. Okay, now that the tennis courts have opened up, I'm definitely going over there. Really good job today. Make sure that you keep practicing until you get it, and I will have another video for you uh, next week. And if you're skating, you need to stay hydrated. So I actually don't really like the flavor of water and also need extra electrolytes. So I'm staying hydrated, I'm preventing muscle cramps, and if you're not staying hydrated, your performance is going way down. So make sure you're staying hydrated. And also if you don't like your skates being boring, make sure to get some skatoos. They make your skates look so cool. I designed them and the art is all by me. So there's strawberry vine and sunflower. But if you like your skates boring too, that's cool too. Make sure to subscribe for more Learn to Skate in 30 Days videos. Okay, bye. Also, make sure to leave me a comment about like what you would like to learn next because I'm happy to help you learn whatever you want to learn and incorporate it into the program. Okay, bye.